Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. Today we're going to be changing this manual fan to an electric fan on this 2002 BMW 325i. Uh, basically the reason we're going to be doing this is because the manual fans, which is pretty much the fans with the clutch, uh, they tend to explode and when they explode they tend to take a bunch of stuff with it like the radiator, the expansion tank and so on. Uh, another thing, the reason I sound like this is I'm really sick, which is also why I haven't uploaded many videos, but back to the point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change this manual fan and put an electric one in, in place. The electric ones came on all manual E46s uh, besides the M3. So basically the electric fan, it replaces the auxiliary fan, which is on the front. This fan only comes on when you turn the AC or if the car is overheating, it will come on. And this one is already actually an electric fan, as you can see. So that one right there, and it will also replace this manual fan that I was talking about with the clutch. This right here. Both of those fans will be replaced with the electric fan. This is an electric fan. This one is used, but it still gets the job done. And as you see, here's the blades. This motor is actually the same motor that's on the auxiliary fan. So if this motor was ever to go out, you can always use the spare from the auxiliary fan and you'll still be all right. It's, it actually bolts right in. Uh, you really don't have to do any modifications whatsoever. And it'll actually provide you with the safety of you knowing that it's not gonna, the fan's not gonna explode and pretty much bust everything else up. So pretty much to do this, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. The main tools that you're gonna need are the fan clutch removal tools. You can get these on eBay for like 20 or 30 dollars. You can also rent them from your local uh, auto parts stores. When you rent them from the auto parts store, you pretty much don't pay anything, or you can pay $30 online. So basically what you get is you get a 32 millimeter flat, very skinny wrench, and this is to hold the water pump pulley. As you can see on mine, I've bent it. When you bend it, it makes it a lot easier for you to access and hold it because there's really not that much space when the fan's there, especially with the shroud as well. You're also gonna need a T25 socket, and you're also going to need a flathead to pry off the push pin that holds the fan shroud in. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take off the fan, uh, or at least loosen it. So you put this, uh, this is a 32 millimeter flat-handed wrench, and this is the pulley holder. So as you see, as I've bent mine like that, this is the side with the longer hole. So basically you get it down in there, As you can see, it's very tight. But yeah, once you get it onto the two bolts, you gotta get the holes to line up with the bolts. Just like that. And then you slide this over the actual fan clutch. The, the fan is actually, uh, it's the reverse threaded. When you turn it clockwise, you're loosening. And when you're turning it counterclockwise, you're tightening it. If you're used to tightening, you're going to turn it clockwise, and that will loosen it. Uh, it might take a little bit of pressure. This one I've actually already taken off a few times, so it wasn't that hard. Once you have it loosened, you should be able to just turn it with your hand. As you can see, it'll turn the whole fan clutch, and it'll just come off the threads. So once you have that loosened, what you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and unhook the shroud. So first things first, you want to unhook the connectors. There's that. And this is the connector for the auxiliary fan. And this is actually the connector that we're going to use for our electric fan now. There we go. All right, next you're going to go ahead and take off the push pin on this side. This one's already broken. But pretty much, you pull out the little tab that's in the middle. Once you pull the tab out, that will allow you to remove the rest of the push pin. So this is how it works. When you have the pin in the middle, it will expand these two. That way it makes it a pressure fitting. And then when this tab's not there, these can compress and it allows you to pull the push pin out. Next, you're gonna go ahead and remove the Torx bolt on this side. This is a T25. Once you have that off, now you're going to go ahead and remove the rest of the fan. And then you can go ahead and pull up on the shroud. And there you have it. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and put the electric fan in. So it's pretty much the same procedure. 
Uh, you just gotta slide it back in. As you can see, the tabs on the bottom, they line up with the tabs in the radiator. As you see, there's the little plastic tabs on the radiator. And then there's one tab that's on this little plastic part that hooks up to the transmission cooler and expansion tank. This part correlates with this part right here. All right, so you're just gonna carefully slide this in, uh, trying not to damage the radiator. All right, once you have that in, you're gonna put the Torx bolt back in. And then on this side, you're gonna go ahead and put that push pin back in. On this one, I'm actually have to get a new one. So yeah, for that, I'm gonna wait. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and uh, reconnect all the connectors. You're gonna have an extra one left, and this is for the auxiliary fan. I'm actually gonna leave mine connected for now. But if you do wanna go ahead and take it off, uh, you could, you're welcome to do that. You really don't have to. You just leave it connected just as a backup. And then this is for the this little filter box right here. All right, so now that's pretty much it for the electric fan conversion. If you do have difficulties removing your uh, fan clutch, the old one, a few things you can try is to soak it with PB Blaster or WD-40 or anything of that sort. Uh, just keep it on there, let it soak, and if you do not need your fan shroud anymore, so like if you don't plan on reselling it or try to salvage it, you can go ahead and cut off the top tabs, or you can just break the whole fan shroud in general, and that will make it a lot easier for you to access the fan shroud and hold that pulley while you twist off the actual fan clutch. Uh, you can also use that wrench and hit it with a mallet or anything like that with some strong force, and that will whack it right off. Uh, and if it's really on there, then your only bet might be to get break off the fan blades and then keep going at it with that clutch tool. So that's it. That's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions for this DIY, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you like my videos and comment any other suggestions for future videos.